in 2023, the most outstanding player in the CFL is a first-year starter, Chad Swag Kelly. The people who've won that award, essentially, the list is just Hall of Famers. You're in that class. That means what? Words can't even explain, really, the feeling of being a part of such a prestigious award. Um, I mean, this this league's been around for, you know, the Argos 150 years and, and 110 years together. I mean, this is an amazing accomplishment, a dream come true that, you know, I'm just super thankful and blessed to be able to be in a position. But, you know, this award isn't just my award. It's it's a team award because, you know, those guys make it happen each and every day in practice. Each and every day we, we step out on the field. Those guys, you know, are pushing me and they're making me better. And, you know, I just have to get the ball to them and they make the plays. I tell everybody that comes and talks to me and says, you really thought Chad was going to win MOP? You really thought? This is what I tell them. I say, this is the funny part. This is the worst Chad Kelly we're going to see going forward because he's only going to get better. And I say that because I know how passionate you are and how much work you put in. He's one of the guys that's always in first. I mean, you expect that out of a quarterback, but he actually does it. If there's one thing, you're going to see Chad's car always in the parking lot when you're pulling it in the morning. And so I know that, and this is why I have so much confidence in where you are going. But I don't want to do the talking for you. Tell them what this offseason is going to look like for you. You're going to see a more polished, determined, focused quarterback that you've ever seen. I mean, there's so many things I can get better at. I was growing each and every game. Obviously, you know, the last one wasn't wasn't the best one. And, you know, you learn from them. You, you, you know, light, life sometimes gives you rotten, rotten oranges and you got to make the best out of it. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. Right, but you want to win them all, but that's called life, and that's that's where I'm at mentally. But I know that they're they're gonna see a guy who's who's focused, determined, and and ready to light it back up. Last time you were on the wagon, we talked to you before the first one, yeah, the first start, yep. and you had in your mind the goals that you wanted to go get. Didn't share them necessarily publicly, but you had them. How did the year pan out in relation to those goals, and was this one of them? I think it it was one of them, but you know the main one that you think about each and every day was was the Grey Cup, right? And you know we fell we fell short of that, and you know you you learn from it. You you can't you can't win them all. And I think as as we grew throughout this whole year, there's a lot to uh, be appreciative of, a lot to um, know that we can get better at, and a lot of things that we we did get better at. You know, just being a part of the team last year. So I think. As we grow as a person, as a as a football player, as a, as a man, you you find where you need to fit in, where you need to get better at, where you need to excel, and maybe you know tighten back a little bit on on some things. So it's part of the game, and and you're you're just blessed to be able to be in a position to actually succeed on the field. You talked about those Argos fans at BMO. Uh, there's a couple of regulars in the crowd, Mr. and Mrs. Kelly, and Uncle Jim. Yeah. Uh, what was it like for your family to be on this ride uh, with you? And when you get back to them, when we release you, uh, what's it going to be like uh, to talk to them uh, about this honor? Yeah, I mean, it's it's amazing that they were able to capture every every moment at home, even away games they came to. It's a special time to be able to be so close to home, um, to be able to put all my eggs in one basket and, and succeed, right? There obviously was, was a hiccup late in the year that, you know, we wish we could have did differently. But, you know, having the family there along the whole ride has, has been absolutely amazing, um, gratifying. And, you know, it's, it, it's, it's been special. And, and I feel like, you know, this is, this is part of their award as well for, you know, keeping me comfort in, in hard times and, and keeping me motivated throughout the whole year. I'm gonna come and catch some games this year again, uh, Chad. So, so tell the retired? family. So you retiring? No, what you mean? Hold on, time out. Oh, okay, 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 we talking okay, about okay, it in the off season. Okay. I wanna come and I came last year. <laughs> I'm telling you just to tell the family to save my seat on the RV. Right. Oh, okay. yeah. You okay, see, yeah, right. you see where I'm going. Right. Right. Nobody knows there about go. the RV. Right. Right. Uh, yes, uh, the RV. RV That's what I'm talking. Save me a seat. All right.
You're but, safe. You're safe. You're a Hall of Famer. You're listen, safe for sure. <laughs> for real though, I, I really want to be real and transparent, uh, Chad, because you started this sit down talking about life, man, and I think that it's important that we even touch on this because, you know, a lot of times people see the trophies, people see the rings. Um, but they don't realize that there's a process and there are things that you have to go through in order to even to get there. And sometimes it does hurt. Sometimes it is painful. But talk about the pain that came there. And then once you go through that, um, I want you to tell us what Unk said, man. What did Unk yeah. say to Chad after, you know, that dark time, as yeah. you said it all stuff? Yeah, I mean, I'd never been in a position, right, of of that extent, that moment, that, you know, personal experience where, you know, it's either do or die, right? And um, as a team, it hurt because I felt like I let the team down. I, I, I was, I was distraught. I was hurt from, you know, the first first interception to the last one, and, you know, it, it's it's honestly a feeling that you know is hard to come by. I mean, I've never felt that that feeling ever in my life, and, you know to go back to that moment is is something that you need almost to fuel you but at the same time it sits in your stomach for a long time it's still sitting in my stomach and you know it's part of the game it's 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 something that you don't want to endure but like i said before you win some you lose some you want to win them all but that's called life and and i look forward to being able to use that as motivation this off season um to get better but you know having uncle jim text me after the game and say i've been in that situation i've been in that feeling i've felt that before you know it kind of gave me a little revealing moment to be like okay like someone has felt what that pain that i have and and i know he has because you know losing four straight super bowls is definitely a, a kick in the behind so i'm just you know trying to figure out where the sun comes up the next day and and how quick can I get back to work, which I did and, and already have. And that's all I can look forward to is, is to what's, what's to come and, and not focus on, on what happened in the past. Those are the cards that this game of life deals you. Uh, lastly, before we let you go, we are in a casino. Yep. Yeah. So uh, I, well, there's your camera right there. I want yeah. to know who bet on you, who bet on Chad uh, that now it's cashing in that <laughs> return on investment. And, and, and also... For people who want to follow in your footsteps, why they need to bet on themselves the way you did? Well, I hope whoever bet on me definitely uh, gives me a little jingle back. <laughs> I'm, just <kidding. laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh Hopefully, it paid off. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know many people um, that that did that. But uh, if I was a betting man, just like everybody else should be, uh, we should obviously bet on yourself every single time, no matter what. You know, it's it's funny that um, we're talking about betting. Right. And, you know, you find yourself, you know, gambling on life, gambling on yourself, gambling on other people. You know, you're, you're playing rock, paper, scissors, shoots, you're gambling. Right. And that's what's pretty cool about life right now with with myself. I'm playing football. Right. And I know how hard I work. I know how dedicated and focused I am each and every day where I can go out there and win. And we have a mentality one and oh. And I think that resonates throughout life, everything that you go through, whether, you know, it's in a casino, whether it's playing basketball with your buddies, whether it's, you know, doing doing whatever in life, you can win. And as long as you're focused on getting better in whatever capacity you're doing and being the best, that's that's all you can ask for in life, man, is if you, you, you believe in yourself and, and you're dedicated, you can achieve anything you want. Life lessons with Chad Kelly. <laughs> but DB, I'm not going to let him off the hook. Okay. He said he doesn't care about the George Reed MOP awards. So how many championships when it's all said and done? Because we're going to go back and look at this when, when you are old and, and you can't move and run anymore. And you say, all right, this is it. 20 years from now. How many you got on your finger, man? You got the MJ6. You got Bill <laughs> Russell. What, what are we talking about over here? I hope every year we're, we're a part of part of history, man. I mean, that's that's every kid's Give goal, Give me a right? number, Chad. Twelve. That's okay. I like that. Twelve. For 12 I like that. Right? Well, I like that. Yeah, you got well, one down. Two on his toes. Eleven to go. Three, yeah. that, listen, man. When you put in the work, you can live with the results. Yep. Uh, the body of work this year was outstanding, which led to that result. So, uh, when you can. 
Enjoy it and embrace it because you earned it, man. Well, I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you.